You know, I I think this is like probably one of my favorites of reading hentai doujins or manga or anything that way. Don't know how to classify it. But yeah, this one is probably my my number one favorite and it's like with the the whole thing of hentai, it's like it's really good at what it does and at art forms is amazing, man. It's amazing. But reading in, there's a lot of fucked up mangas or the hentai doujins, whatever. And one of them is the the seventeen something, the girl with the glasses, and the and when she got into drugs, her whole life became like a living hell. I kind of quit like halfway into reading that because it's like the more I read, the more I feel I feel something in myself. But I might read it one day completely and get my thoughts on it. But I'm talking about close as neighbors, and it has um. 51 chapters in total and oh my gosh reading it it was it was something like i was planning on reading but somehow forget at the same time i heard about this before but i think i got distracted sort of like with other things but i finally had the time to read it and oh my gosh it tells such a beautiful story beautiful story in my in my opinion and I I don't know I don't know if it's like manga or doujin because I heard doujin is just like um those comics from webtoons basically is that but in a hentai form here so I did enjoy watching or not watching reading it when I had to scroll down my phone so many times but yeah I really enjoyed myself reading it like very much man um I do love the the whole about like you know the 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 protagonist is just pretty much stupid and everything like it's it's most common like more like that not even just in hentai and in, in general most people are just stupid careless but they just want to fuck but this one it's just not about fucking there's more to it and i'm kind of and no i'm not kind of i'm glad i get to see less of the fucking and more of like the plot and everything because not all hentai is just all about you know doing it with another person no it tells a wonderful and a unique story that i don't know if it has its own um adaptation uh, but i would be happy if it had gotten one and i would see how it would translate to the doujin to the video itself and i would just enjoy it man like this is just basically with all sort of around with all the characters with i can't pronounce this dude's name it's it's theo theo something like that it's t-h-e-o i can't remember how to say this dude's name completely but yeah it all it all it all arrives um or it's a okay yeah it's a webtoon comic like not checking it and it is that but yeah it's just about the theo i'll just say that and his loving relationship what he has with this girl named april and you know he has a crush on her like a very long time all that stuff and there's like people now that are getting interested in him mainly just one particular girl and like all the all the names of these uh characters are just so weird so you got april who's basically I think either the mother, yeah, the mother of the sisters, mother's mother, and then there's April, and then there's Meg, which is um the blue hairish girl, and then there's June, which is the blonde girl. So it's just like April, May, June. Very creative hunt names, I could tell you that right now. But Theo has this thing with April, and April has her own story about falling in love with a man, and they went their separate ways. They have a, they had a kid and everything, but she left with the kid to start a new life. And I think that um her dad or yeah her father or the the fa I don't know if it's the fa like I don't know what I forgot what the relationship was with April with May and June. I'm pretty sure they're sisters or she no. They're not sister, or yeah, they're basically sisters. But she acts basically like, like a mother. So I got I keep forgetting that misconception there. But yeah, but May has this huge, huge, huge crush on Theo for like a very long time, even as a kid, and the age gap is like so weird because like Theo is like somewhere in his thirties, and then May and June are just like somewhere in their like 
um late twenties or mid twenties. I don't know something like that, but you know it is what it is on that with the age range. And I think there's barely times when when it shows people fucking. I'm pretty sure it shows at least. Five, I like reading this whole thing. You might come come across that maybe. Let me think. Uh, probably five to six times. You know, throughout like the fifty some fifty one chapters. I think that's what I say. Not fifty. Yeah, fifty one chapters. I think you'll come across six times, six times or less that the, um there's gonna be fucking in there. But you know, I'm glad I see less of that because I wanted to see more of the characters and them developing their feelings for each other, and the like this big conflict with Theo. He slept with May, June, and his coworker, and his coworker developed a little bit of feelings for him, but you know, she's not in too deep with it. And then June, June did not had any feelings for Theo in the first place. Um, it was all because of this pettiness of May, um, bar or taking June's pen and like never returning it and everything. And like she has the personality of like she is a innocent girl on the outside, but inside she's like a manipulative, twisted person that can man- like she you can see um, you see in this do or webtoon comic thing that she manipulates a guy into cheating on his girlfriend with herself and everything and it's like wow. And then there was an incident where she um like Theo has like a a massive cock, dude. Like it's like bigger than an anaconda, man. She like over exaggerates how freaking huge it is and everything. And I'm like, oh okay. And then she only uses him just for the fucking part. And then she starts to develop more feelings for him and everything. And then Theo is just like in this like weird position where he just does not know what to think or what to say at all. He just does what he thinks is right. And I like Theo as a character man, even though he I'm glad he's not those protagonists with their hair covering their eyes and they're not like ugly old men that just takes advantage of young girls and it's just woof it's just like a whole lot of mess right there but yes but at the end of it all i'm gonna spoil it here um at the end of it all like at the end may and theo are our boyfriend and girlfriend and i was really happy to see that because i was getting a little bit pissed off if may was just gonna let june and theo happen because they did date but it was part of theo's plan to or no it, i think it was like june's idea to get um may riled up with her feelings because she has a like a really deep feelings for theo for like a very long time so she came up with this plan to um you to to um to bait her and everything trying to confess like i can't handle this anymore i'm in love with him way more than you yada yada man and like you know i do love the art in this one it is like very 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 nice man and you know i have not seen the blurriness of so or the blur sensor i just only see the censoring or like the black lines and everything and i have not seen that this type of censoring where it's just like basically um clear as white and everything and it's like oh okay that's that's neat like i enjoy i enjoy that pretty much it's just you know like i thought it was just gonna be like how it is the rest where it's just fucking just black lines or fucking just just that in general but yeah i'm glad to say i get to see like a different type type of that because i didn't know like the blurring white was gonna be one of those things that just censors the body parts of you know both of the dude's dick and the girl's fuss pussy the the, the p- p- pussy but um yeah man i really i really did had a great time just reading this i think like when you like in the i i read this on and hentai.net and everything so i started or i think like when you there was like a section with like chapter once through 43 those are the ones where you just have to watch or read through like with the uh, hentai doujin or something to scroll down and everything and then when you hit to chapter 44 to 51 it's like 600 or something pages but it's just like cut up which i'm kind of glad man and it's <coughs> excuse me and my 
and my reading skills was on point. I just kept reading and reading. I think when I read like the chapter one through forty, uh, forty uh something, I um I I really uh what is it? I really was like late, like really late at like four, like no, it was like six in the morning, man. I'm like damn, like I I like I really cared so much just mainly of the plot of this um. Oh, Dojin, man! Like when 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 it's like good story written like this, it's like it's like especially same thing with watching or reading hentai or watching anime in general. You're like so sucked up into the story that you just cannot go to bed, and your curiosity wants to know how how is it gonna finish? How is the characters gonna keep you know going at it with each other? How they're gonna you know confess their feeding feelings, all sorts of types like that. And it's just like, bro, if fuels me it just fuels my hunger into just reading it more and more and seeing how it becomes and to my surprise i was not di i was not um i was not uh what is it i wasn't mad i wasn't really upset at all. i was not um what is it disappointed that's the word i was looking for i was really not disappointed of the ending the conclusion because i would have been so i would have been just so upset dude if theo and june would just be together and just may's just there just with her feelings and shit i'm just like dude like what the fuck man it's, it's just like it's such a great story and if it's not gonna end how i expected it to is it's gonna be really messed up in my opinion but yeah glad it didn't end off to what i think it was gonna be because that would have sucked hard for may in general man because i was ruined for may basically um how rent a girlfriend is with um ruka-chan versus that one girl who was like really shy and sh shy and shit i was ruined for it and yeah man i was just i was just you know, you know just like really happy about that man and then and then the ending conclusion and shit just wow it was really amazing to read and i aspire you guys to read as well you can literally go and type in n hentai.net and um find this because just type in close as neighbors you don't need to have the numbers at all because it'll already be there just in english so you know i'm glad that's there and everything i'm, I'm really you know really glad i read this it's probably gonna be like my my personal favorites to read of all time and just being that is one of my favorites and everything but yeah it's a really good um hentai doujin or mango or however you want to call it um but yeah, I had a great time reading it. And I really want to know what you guys think about it down below in the comments. If not, that's okay with me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe out there. See you all in the next one. Later.